My name is Brooke Sutton and I'm a proud Kalkadim woman from the Emufoot province around the Mount Isa area in Queensland. And my people have a rich and ancient culture and have lived on this land for the past 65,000 years. They've passed down knowledge from generation to generation over this time through ceremonies, songs, dances and art. In 1884, my ancestors stood up and fought the largest battle in Australian history at a place now known as Battle Mountain against the first paramilitary force ever assembled in Australia. And my ancestors were very brave and ferocious warriors and that spirit now lives within every Kakadin descendant. Art has been a huge part of my life for as long as I can remember. My parents always encouraged me to express myself through my art, whether I was making Christmas or birthday cards or just drawing. And I've always adored the idea of creating something with love and how special that feeling is. As I grew older, I began watching my sister achieve remarkable things with her art. I used to hide underneath the table and watch her paint her big amazing paintings and I'd try and paint just like her on my little tiny canvases. She was travelling and meeting so many amazing and influential people and I would ask if I could hide inside a suitcase so that I could come as well. And she would always tell me that if this is what I wanted, then I had to work hard to achieve my goals. So I took her advice and I've worked extremely hard over the past 12 years even whilst I was still at school to achieve my dreams. I think we've reached a point in our lives where we have realised that the world is in desperate need of our help. And we've come so far with our technologies, but in that process, we've forgotten to look after the lands we live in. And now is a time for healing, not only for ourselves, but for Mother Nature as well. For over 65,000 years, she has provided all of the medicinal herbs and leaves and flowers and fruits and roots that Indigenous Australians used to heal themselves and these are still being used in modern medicines today. And now Mother Nature is crying for help and it's everyone's business to heal country. My sister and I have done a lot of work within our communities. We hold a workshop with the kids at risk and the police and the elders at our local shopping centre and we painted a huge mural that told a local Dreamtime story. We also worked in a really remote Indigenous community and where we held an Indigenous painting workshop at Wadja Wadja High School and with the police and the community and the elders. And during that workshop, we created two large paintings that were then used as final wraps on the police cars. And that project was such a success that we were asked to come back two years later. And it's projects and workshops like this that really, really make my job so worthwhile. T2 is a major worldwide organisation and a collaboration like this helps to promote Indigenous artists like myself to a worldwide audience. And if more major organisations supported Indigenous artists, then it not only helps to promote our work and our culture and our stories to the world, but it also, the profits made from collaborations like this can be given to the artists and their communities. And T2, for example, is helping out my community by donating part of the profits to the Yagabindi Institute, which helps Indigenous youth secure full-time employment, which is a really, really, really important issue. And I do believe that a lot more organisations should follow in T2's footsteps. You could create a reconciliation action plan for your business, which that not only helps to support Indigenous artists, but it also creates an equal and safe work environment for your Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander employees. You can also buy authentic Aboriginal art, Indigenous art, or products such as teas or foods that use native ingredients and are supplied by, sourced by native Indigenous suppliers. You can also just buy bags or baskets or jewellery or clothes that are handmade by Indigenous artists. There are so many Indigenous artists in Australia that really every little sale really helps to support them. This year's NAIDOC theme is Get Up, Stand Up, Show Up and it encourages us to strive for change and it celebrates those who have already achieved change for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples over the generations. And to me, this theme acknowledges the battles fought by my ancestors in the past and how these battles and stands and movements still continue into the present and how it is now our job to ensure that these do not continue any further into the future. My favourite tea up until recently was the French Earl Grey, but over Easter I tried a few new teas and I would have to say my favourite is hot jam brownie. Never in my life have I thought that something could taste exactly like its name. It is so amazing and I love it. So my name's Matt, I am a lead creative campaign and product at T2 um, and I have had the privilege of working with Brooke on um, bringing her artwork to this amazing tea set. It's been an amazing collaboration uh, obviously because the imagery is so striking, um, her use of colour is amazing, 
But what I've really, I guess, enjoyed learning about is what all the symbology is behind all the motifs and what the colours represent. It's been a really great kind of learning experience for me. I'm Wendy and I'm the head of product at T2. Look, we, uh, we found Brooke's art online and we were pretty blown away. Uh, when we met Brooke, it was, a, it was a done deal. We fell in love with her, we fell in love with her family. We fell in love with her ethos um, of giving back to community, her passion for learning, her passion for the environment um, and all things that aligned really, really well with T2. Um, I think you'll agree, I mean the beautiful bright bold colours um, really resonate with the T2 customer um, but I would have to say this has been such an incredible experience for us as a team um, in terms of learning about Brooke and her community, her family, um, her environment and issues that are really important to her so we've absolutely loved it.